something like that kind of stuff. And I have some breaking news from the NASCAR world. So NASCAR granted a playoff waiver to Kyle Larson. So it was announced Tuesday morning that he's eligible for the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. So, but the bad thing is he lost a point lead to Denny Hamlin. So if he had started the race at Charlotte for the Cup 600, he'd be the points leader by one race. But it is what it is. And he has to be on a summer stretch streak to actually defrone Denny Hamlin once September comes around and he gets those 15 playoff points for being the points leader. So, so anyways, some NASCAR executives, like competition director, I believe, Elton Sawyer. And then some of the top executives like Steve Feltz and Steve O'Donnell. All three of these uh, top executives in this sport had to actually sit in the round table and discuss what Larson did to promote the sport. Like Indy 500 for Indy cars and NASCAR for Charlotte. So it's nothing new that many of the NASCAR drivers wanted to go to Indy and do the Indy 500 and then a couple of hours later do the Coke 600 in Charlotte. So, yeah, I'm proud as a Hendrick Motorsports fan and Kyle Larson fan that this happened and I was so blessed that they did grant the playoff waiver and I was supporting them all the way. So, yeah. This is a thumbnail photo or article from Kyle, I mean, jayski.com. So. <laughs> and then I have another article from tobychristie.com, which has quotes from Rick Hendrick trying to organize some kind of quote that he mentioned, like the medium transcript. So here it is. I'm going to read all of it. So, based on Rick Hendrick's uh, argument to NASCAR regarding Kyle Larson's playoff waiver, he says, Under normal circumstances, completing the double is one of the toughest tests in sports. Despite our best efforts, this year's combination of weather conditions in Indianapolis and Charlotte made it impossible. Although losing ground in the standings was hard to swallow, we were especially disappointed for the fans at the Coca-Cola 600 who were not able to see Kyle Larson race. I'm extremely proud of everything he did to prepare in a month of planning by our team and our partners at Aero Claren to run these two crown jewel events. We hope race day would play out differently, but the program was still incredibly positive for everyone involved. Kyle's performance throughout May was a great reflection on the level of talent competing each week in the NASCAR Cup Series. We appreciate NASCAR communicating with us throughout the effort and granting our request for a playoff waiver. So, I believe Rick Hendrick was not at Indy. He may have visited Larson and he was with Team Aaron McLaren in his attempt to win the race. But I know Jeff Gordon and Cliff Daniels were there too, so especially Cliff Daniels and I saw a little bit of a video clip of Cliff Daniels uh, meeting with the team engineers at Aaron McLaren saying it's much different than NASCAR, you know, like you have to set up the car different, you have to have a good mindset and yeah, these are true athletes, both in the car and NASCAR and these are tough motorsports disciplines for them to actually prepare for in these two crown jewel races. So, and mostly Jeff Gordon was there to accommodate Kyle Larson's preparation, and it went very well, even though he didn't get a chance to do Charlotte as much. Like, he only did practice and qualify, that's it. 
And then for IndyCar, he just did a few days of here and there practicing the car. And it looked like a Daytona 500 session, like drafting sessions. <laughs> I mean, what more can you ask for for Kyle Larson? Like, he, he will try to do it again. But NASCAR knows, uh, yeah, IndyCar will always be there for him. And if he ever does it next year, maybe he gets another playoff waiver if the weather doesn't work out. Either way, but. Yeah, and I get, looks like NASCAR's going to have to rewrite the rule book again. So, yeah. So. I want to thank the NASCAR articles by jsky.com and tobychristie.com for typing all these articles to the race fans knowing that indeed Kyle Larson get, got a playoff waiver from NASCAR. So, like after 13 to 14 races, he has more to do and the front Danny Hamlin as they have their good budding rivalry to get those 15 playoff points come September. So I'll make it up quite a five. Hope you all have a great day and a great summer. Peace out.